Hey, all you cool cats and fine felines. It's Leah and Lynn. And look where we are today. The Punk Rock Museum in beautiful Las Vegas. On opening day. On opening day. April Fool's Day. So we're going to go inside and look around and take you with us. So what are we going to do? Get into the groove. That's right. in New York, so South Tennessee, it must have been 86, and uh, our manager at the time comes up to me, actually I'm on the stage playing, comes up to me and says, I had to kick Joy out of the room because it was drinking all you guys' beer. Oh, yeah. Joy Ramon, <laughs> but that's actually happened. You trip my, my influence is, yeah, Led Zeppelin, <laughs> Led Zeppelin with my shit.
was like, I saw you with a yeah. billboard 50 yeah. years ago. Yeah. Where are you in the hallway? And he's like, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. back with my job. It's like the benefits. Thank you. I'll to the museum. We've been working hard. We've been waiting for this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, uh, yeah. This was like our Bible back then. When I first joined the band, we'd go to the haircutting parties. <laughs> we had haircutting, haircutting parties, and this, people would leave the week. It's like the Bible. Things were coming up, maximum rock and roll, and you know, it was like we got Power Magazine that came out. But these were the bigger ones. And this one was cool because I was on it. <laughs> and uh, flip side right here with um, Milo Descendants and Henry Rollins over there. But this trips me out because I, I get a little, what year? This is 83. Because right here, I mean, in 82, we already making a name on the streets for ourselves. That institutionalized song just came out. We're at playing the cafe, and lo and behold, it's pack night. We didn't play there. We we're just we we're just at the club, and I brushed elbows with the Joey and introduced myself. Hey, I'm Luigi with Susan Tennessee. He's going, "That's you with the song on the radio, huh?" I go, "Yep." And too bad I couldn't take a picture. There was no cameras back then. But, uh, <laughs> you know, that was I was kind of starstruck because like. You know, oh. Whose bass is that? That's my bass. <laughs> <laughs> Be a moment. <clears throat> Make your bag. Yeah. Um. That was uh. Yeah. Well, uh, yeah. That's all. That's the flyer artwork from our shows. We got this. Um. We did this photo. Glenn Friedman took the photo. We did this in um, past Pine Del Rey, I guess they call it Dockwiler Beach. And we're, at, we're literally hanging. There ain't no moon boots where we got little boots on it. No, we use rope. My heavy ass, I'm the only one with double rope. You see the rope? <laughs> <laughs> and our, our faces are like red. And that flame was getting close to me. I mean, at one time it was high. But um, it was a crazy time. My Emery's wearing the V13 then. My brother was in the San Quentin prison. Murder, of course. And uh, that was his prison yard, Supermax hat. And um, he got lost in the mix. But, you know, we got uh, Bagel's uh, photo. Of, that's Jay Adams yes. right there. Jay Adams. And he was, I was telling someone, he was, what, he was the first guy I saw with that suicidal, you know, culture that look. You know what I mean? I wasn't trying to be a gangster because my brother, you know, I seen the grief they did with my mom. So, but yeah, so right here, Mike, myself. I mean, I, you know, I was just trying to, you know, get in when I fit in. 
here's a treatment right here for the first uh, institutionalized video. This is our first tour. Um, Rick Clayton drew on the top of my little painter cap. Rocky's Rocky's hat right here. There's this. I mean, too bad this ain't opened up this shirt right here. The uh, executioner guy. Mm. But if you open it up, we, we're gonna mass use those, but we didn't because the the hand that's cut off is the same hand that cut the cutting off. So there's two right hands. <laughs> so we, we never used it. Um, yeah. So this base, you know, I got it. I got it. You know, it fell off a truck type thing. I got three bases for hundred bucks. It was that one. It was a Rickenbacker and an SD30 base. Actually, it wasn't this one. It was a Rickenbacker base. I traded some guy in Playa del Rey for this base. I'm glad I did. Yeah. 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 Rest in peace to Gabby right here. You guys. These guys are all hardcore criminals that we hang out with, our family. <laughs> but that's how that whole look and style came. And Jay Adams, that first, I heard many stories about Jay in Dogtown. And the first, well, the first, when I first joined the band, I didn't get to the band. So when I first joined the band, my first week practicing, he just got out of prison. He was done. Murphy, yeah. he only a couple years, and he had a cast, cast on his leg or his arm. He had a penalty on, bandana, uh, had on his head, like his head, Dickies and wino shoes, you know, wino. And that was like, you know, and we we're not quite there. I, he was trying to look my old, like my older brothers, yes, gangsters. Please. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like little hooks and real signature parts. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> I didn't even practice. <laughs> Or um, one of my favorites. Oh, I know, right? <laughs> 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 yeah, that was it. <laughs> you just drop the mic and walk away. There you go. That's it. That's what we came for right there. <laughs>